For centuries, the island of Camino was home to pirates, corsairs, and poor farmers. It was on this outcrop that the local Maldives tried to build a castle nearly 200 years before the Knights of St. John arrived on our island. However, this castle was never built. Our inspiration today is not medieval Malta, however, it is early modern Malta and the story of Comino throughout those centuries. St. Mary's Tower is atop the highest point of the island of Camuno. For around 400 years, the tower, which is behind me, has watched over the Gozo Malta channel. The island was shelter for thousands of corsairs, pirates, knights and fishermen. Exactly in 1779, Captain Preziosi, a Maltese corsair, was here, just beneath the tower of Camino. He sent his small tender boat to the Felucca to inform the Toraro that they intended to spend around three to four days on the island, replenishing supplies and getting ready for the rigors of the Corso. Cleaning their muskets, cleaning their cannons, and preparing for one final action on the Mediterranean. The island of Comino was steaming with wild rabbit. It was the perfect meal for any corsair seeking shelter on the island. However, this was not the only activity that the corsairs were doing here. Illegal activity was rampant. Smuggling and Gotten sailors would come over here to trade in illegal goods. That's why Grandmaster Pinto 1740 built this police station behind me, trying to curb this activity. In fact, it is probably the oldest working police station on the island of Malta. The police station on the island brought control to the island and we now know all the details of what was being bought and what was being sold. The documents are still found in Valletta. And the documents tell us that aged cheese from Sicily was being bought, cheese from Holland. There were various types of vegetables and fruit, like artichokes and strawberries. There were also three types of pasta. This food was either being stowed away on board the ship to be used later on, or eaten in the evening as a meal. And this brings us to the inspiration of our place today. A simple risotto with gamberi rossi, red prawns bought in Malta. From the list that we have studied, we have found that these prawns were very, very popular in Malta. So the risotto is being made with local prawns and because Captain Preziosi around 1770 wanted to be a little bit sophisticated, he added pistachio from Bronte to his plate. However, for his sailors, Captain Preziosi only prepared simple eel patties from some eels which they caught from Comino on that same day. Comino remained a place of food trade until the 1790s. 
when it was finally leased out to two brothers, Joseph and Francis Schreeder, so that farming and animal husbandry could take place on the island. Yet this was a short-lived enterprise, as Malta went through a turbulent time between 1798 and 1800. Comino became home to many political exiles and Jagbini, as we still call them today on the island. Men and women who sided with the French Republican forces, which were being kicked out of the island by Maltese revolutionaries. However, that is a story for another time.